No hidden gems this time. We're heading to what is arguably the most popular hike in Sedona, Arizona. But the good news is, there are some ways to beat the crowds. And I'm going to show you how, in this guide to Devil's Bridge. Welcome back to my Sedona, Arizona series where today I'm taking you to Red Rock Country's most popular hike. This roughly four mile long round trip trail is relatively flat, except for the final stretch, and has some great classic Sedona views along the way. I'm also showing you how to reach a lesser seen view of the bridge, where I doubt you'll have many, if any, other hikers joining you. Devil's Bridge blew up on social media a while ago, and for better or for worse, tons of hikers flock there every year now for that coveted standing on the bridge photograph. But who am I to judge, especially if you've never visited before? So this guide to Devil's Bridge is going to give you a few different ways of reaching it, as well as some tips on how to beat the crowds. So tip number one, start early in the morning especially if you're hiking in warmer months, and from the most popular parking area, found here at the Dry Creek Trailhead. This footage is from around 7 a.m., midweek, around mid-June, and the lot is already two-thirds full. And it's worth mentioning, if you plan on parking at either of the trailheads mentioned in this video, you'll need to purchase a Red Rock Pass at a kiosk in the lot or display your America the Beautiful annual pass on your dash. If you miss out on a parking spot, or don't feel like starting early, you do have a couple of other options. One is to take the Sedona Shuttle, which runs Thursdays through Sundays. From the park and ride lots seen here on the map, you can catch the shuttle straight to the Dry Creek Trailhead. Addresses for both park and ride lots are in the description below, as well as a link to the shuttle schedule. I'll keep this updated if anything changes in the future. The second option is to start from another trailhead a little further down the road. A trail that's actually just about the same length if you were to start here from Dry Creek. But before I get too far ahead of myself, let's talk about the one we're at right now. The main trail from Dry Creek is actually just a one mile long 4x4 vehicle road. If you have a car that's capable of tackling this rough road, then congrats, you've cut this hike in half. Drive the road until you come to this parking lot for Devil's Bridge on the right. Everyone else, simply hike the road until you get to this point. The Chuck Wagon Trail to Devil's Bridge also starts from the main lot at Dry Creek. But it turns this into what is closer to a six mile long hike, so we're skipping this route for now. Instead, Head just down the road, where you'll find the start of the Mescal Trail. And my next tip to avoid the crowds. Visit in the off-season. Early spring, late fall, winter, and I guess maybe the middle of summer. But you'll definitely want to start early in the morning if you're visiting in the hottest months of the year. This is a desert after all. Visiting on weekdays, as opposed to weekends, helps immensely too if you're trying to cut down on the crowds. So the Mescal Trail. Here you'll find one narrow parking lot right along the road and another brand new even larger one just across the street, complete with bathrooms and a Sedona shuttle stop too. This is about 7.15 a.m. midweek and the lot is almost completely empty. Not bad, huh? The Mescal Trail links up with the Chuck Wagon Trail I mentioned before, taking you directly to Devil's Bridge. There are signs marking the direction to Devil's Bridge all over this one. And at four miles long round trip, it's pretty much the exact same length as the Dry Creek Route, with much more scenic views, and it's at least a little less busy. So begin the Mescal Trail, where the first quarter mile or so is relatively flat and takes you through some thicker forest. Stick to the main large trail here. There's a couple small spur trails that can make it just a little bit confusing. Don't be afraid to download the All Trails map to your phone, just in case. Link in the description. 
the Mescal Trail quickly turns into the Chalk Wagon Trail, with plenty of signs pointing you in the direction of Devil's Bridge. From here, it opens up for a bit, and you get some great views of the Red Rock Mountains around you. Continue on, where you'll eventually pass through this short wash, where the trail flattens out again. Finally, it pops you out on the 4x4 road I mentioned earlier, and directly across is the parking lot for it too, and what I guess could be considered the official start of the Devil's Bridge Trail. It's only another mile to the bridge from this point. From here, it's a gradual uphill hike most of the way. There's not much else to do except push forward. The trail is well marked, and if you look off to your left, you should even start to see the bridge itself too. In no time, you'll reach your first set of stairs. They're not too bad. Continue onwards until you reach this spot, where the trail will quickly loop up and to the right. Hang on a second though. See this spur trail off to the left here? Don't forget about it. It leads to a completely different view of Devil's Bridge, but we'll come back to that. For now, tackle this second staircase that's a borderline scramble and continue upwards. This is the final chunk of trail before you reach the main viewpoint. If you're doing this hike later in the day, the familiar sound of a crowd of people will let you know that you're close. The forest clears and then there it is. Devil's Bridge. And a pretty awesome Sedona view if I do say so myself. If you're here early, the line to get your photo taken on the bridge shouldn't be too bad. If you're arriving later in the day, well, expect to wait a while. Or don't get your picture taken, I suppose. No, no, I get it. Everyone wants that classic photo of themselves standing on the bridge. It's fine. Whatever makes you happy. Maybe I'm just bitter because on this particular outing, I did this hike solo. So there was no one to take my picture. Feel free to take a break and just take in the views for a while from up here. It really is one of the more scenic spots in Sedona, despite the crowds and popularity. Once you've done your thing here, head back down into that side trail I mentioned before. It's not really well maintained, but it's not too hard to follow, and it's also relatively short. Within maybe five minutes of hiking it, you emerge at this cool view of the underside of Devil's Bridge. Worth it? I mean, why not, right? Now all that's left is to head back the way you came. Join me at my next video at what's probably Sedona's second most popular hike, Cathedral Rock.